a weird sensation. My eyebrows and eyes were just really, really warm, but my nose was really cold, and Kieran pointed the thermal imager, and he confirmed that it was warm here and cold there. Right, it was very okay. strange. And did, you, and did you hear stuff? We heard um, noises. <clears throat> I thought I saw movement in the far corner over there. The table would, did start shaking at the beginning of the sales. Right, Stuart, if you go... Yeah, Stuart, I'll go. Yeah, 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 I'll leave, yeah. yeah. Just make yeah. sure it's... Yeah. Really, Stuart, yeah, fine. Yeah, we're getting out now. Yeah. See, how, see yeah. how you feel. Yeah. If you want to come back, come back, yeah? OK, I will. OK. Uh, can I ask... Um, Robert, the Ouija board table's there, isn't it? Can you just bring it closer to... to over to here, sweetheart, please? Let's move this thing out of the way. OK. We're just going to set up. Um, we've used it once before. I think we used it. I can't remember where we used it, Carl. Was it Liverpool? Um, Liverpool. This Ouija, Ouija board, and yeah. um, it was quite, quite interesting. Um, so, and we've not used it since. So we're going to use it uh, tonight uh, and see see what we get. Um, and I hope Stuart's all right. So whilst we're getting ready for this, it's, it's a little bit uneven. Um, I don't know, we might want to go back to you, Paul, for two seconds and then come straight back to us just while we set everything up here. Okay, let me just put this... I hope Stuart's all right. Who's okay, no session? problem, Yvette. Uh, we're about to take the shortest of short breaks. They're preparing for a Ouija board session. I should perhaps point out that something Chris Robinson, our psychic and dream detective, sensed is very chilling indeed. Evil spirits in the big building. We've had an intense amount of paranormal activity already tonight. An astonishing night, focusing on the basement and here in the theatre of Morecambe Winter Gardens. Join us after the break for the Ouija board session and the climax of the first of eight nights of investigation on Most Haunted Live, The Eight Faces of Evil. Back after this. Welcome back to Morecambe Winter Gardens and the final part of tonight's Most Haunted Live, the first of an eight-night paranormal investigation. Now, some might say we're tempting fate, but our final part is the 13th part of the programme, and Yvette Fielding and the team are about to start a Ouija board session. They're in the Winter Gardens. Let's rejoin them now on a very intense night indeed. Back to Yvette. We, we, we have just had some very uh, strange noises occur. They were like... We all heard it, didn't we? Daniel, just explain what it was that you heard. Some footsteps walking across the back, clear as day, just walking across around the back. And, the, but the, and we all looked with our torches, there was nobody I there. I thought it was somebody, well, one of us, but we put the torches there and there was nobody there, there was no at one, all. No one there. And it was like a dip, like, for me, what I heard was like someone, you know, the wooden... Uh, what, what are they called, those, that like, um, supports. supports, the wooden supports, it's like somebody had banged the side of the, the wooden yeah. support, heard a yeah. deep thud. But this is what we, when we were down here last night, that's exactly what we heard and we completely dismissed it because uh -huh. we just obviously thought it must have been somebody and it wasn't. It wasn't. Also, can I just say, this is really interesting, is I that... I sort of saw something, somebody in that doorway then. Right over the, behind Chris, sorry, it was on no, the no. face. Let me see. Well... It was right, it was right here. But here, right over Chris's shoulder. There's no one there. It was, it was a definite face, it was like that. Just over your shoulder. No, I'm sorry, I can't go really further because I suddenly got a bit scared. I've been really shivering. Yeah, I have. Right, there's another thing. Kath is actually stood where Stuart was when Stuart went a bit wobbly. Kieran, why is that? Uh, Kath started to feel dizzy and then she said, Kieran, do you feel it? I'm standing in the same place, or roughly the same place. I don't know if it's a suggestion, but I'm feeling it too. And early indication on my environment for me to say it could be infrasound. We've got an early indication of very strong infrasound. Just explain in this what particular that does. Area, it's low frequency sound, sound we can't hear, but it can affect us physically in such a way that we can feel sick, we can feel pressure on, on our chest. front, on our chest, pressure. we I can feel, feel like pressure that. on our head as well, and also have dizziness, okay. so it could we'll be a down for sound. Okay, Kath, so if you well, want to I'll move out, out of that spot. Out of this All right. Place. Also, just to say, our audience member, Stacey, is well, uh, she's absolutely fine, um, so that's brilliant news. Um, and also, Dom, you're going to join us for this Ouija board session, yep. and are you happy to join us for the Ouija board session? Very much part? happy. 
Fabulous. Okay. Don't, don't you think it's strange, though, with, with what's happened? I, I know you're saying it's early indications of infrasound, but Stacey sort of seemed to have a similar yeah. thing yeah. to Stuart. Stuart's mm -hmm. had the same thing now. Taking them out, I'd, I'd like to know if Stuart's okay just by being outside for a bit, as Stacey was, because she was taking out the environment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe we could see if there's any infrasound up, up in that spot. Oh, we could do. Should I we personally don't think it is infrasound. Well, let's, should we get on okay. with this? Okay? You ready, guys? Okay, just so everybody know where everybody's standing. There's nobody. Matt, you're behind me. There's nobody down there. Nobody there's whatsoever. Someone is there someone is now. now. Yeah, there's somebody coming now. Just me. Who's just... Oh, Robin. You're going to... Okay. Well, you can come up with you, Rob. You're going to stay and stand up here. Why are you scared on your own? Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. Okay, you ready? Okay. No one's behind me. Why have you got someone coming? Sure there's, there's nobody on, on camera. Yeah, I'm sure there's a shadow. On camera, Arch. Can you just, can we rewind that just in case we caught something on camera? Okay. You ready? You ready, guys? Simon, dizzy. Simon, you feeling dizzy? Yeah, I'm stood quite near Kieran and Kath, so. I'd I don't okay. know whether it's through the interest. Can we get moving? Yes. <laughs> well, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, you ready? Everybody put your hands on the Ouija board. Okay, are you putting them on the on this middle? Yeah. Uh, not the top one, the middle one. Okay. Basically, this arrow here, the dark arrow here, is going to be our sort of uh, pointer. Oh. So it's going to go around. We have to move around with it, which can look a little bit comical, uh, but it does work. On, the, on this tier here, on the top tier, um, it, it also is a pointer which would work, go round to um, different descriptions of the different people that we could possibly, or spirits that we could possibly meet during the eight nights. So we might not do that, we'll see how we go, but let's just start off on this second tier up. Are you ready? If there's anybody here, if there is a spirit, it's moving. It's moving already, it's actually moving. Mm -hmm. Okay. Moving around. Now I can't see a damn thing, so you're going to have to tell us where it stops. Please tell us your name or give us a message. It's just going around. It stopped. What's this? I stopped on. G. G. Continue, please. Continue, please. Moving again. Interesting to see as well because we'll all be moving through that infrasound spot, won't right, we? Yes. Are you not feeling good? No, not at all. Okay. Nick, come and stand in. Do you need some water? Do you need some water? Just here. Are you happy to do it? Yeah. Okay. Put your hands here. Um, here. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep following. Is he going to stop? So we've got G. Feelings in the lens. <laughs> no, G. What's that? That looks like P or Q. GP. Well, we all need a GP tonight, that's for sure, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> GP. GP. P. Are they initials of a name? Yeah, are they your initials of your name, please? Yes or no? Yes or no, please? Can you give us a message? Is the table shaking? Is it wobbling? I can't feel it wobbling. I can actually feel it ever so slightly. Yeah, it's ever so slightly. Moving? Yeah. You all right, Carl? Yeah. You sure? You stay sitting down there, love. Okay. It's moving, it's moving. Move your hands to the top. Oh, no, hang on. GP. Well, yeah. Close to that area. GP. GP. Is it stopping? Slow now. What's that? Q. GPQ. Is that, Carl, are you all right? Yeah, right. I'm, I'm purposefully. I mean, I'm, I was fine sitting down there after a, a few minutes. So I'm purposely standing in this in infrasound spot okay. just to see if it affects me again. Do you want to join getting... in with this or? Yeah, I'll mind. I'm not getting okay. anything. Nick, sorry, thank you. What's that? Why is it Nick staying as well? Okay, Nick, Nick more energy. Staying. Do you want to yeah. stay in as well? It's just more energy. Yeah. Let's, should we just try this top one? Because I think this is just giving us nonsense. Yeah. 
Just try the top one and let's just see who we've got. Put one hand on. Yeah. Who are you? Can you describe yourself? Are you here? Who are you? 